Hi everyone, Combat Reviewer here. This time reviewing on Aquaman issue 23.1. And this one is meant to feature the story of how Black Manta joined with Lex Luthor and his resistance against the crime syndicate. And keep in mind that, yeah, the point of forever evil had these tie-in issues that told stories with Bizarro, Black Adam, Harley Quinn, Penguin, also other villains that had appeared during the New 52 run, and one of which is meant to feature Black Manta. And the story starts off with, yeah, in Bell Riv Prison, we see how Amanda Wara wants to recruit Black Manta to be part of her Task Force X squad. And we see how, yeah, Black Manta says, the only thing I want is the death of Aquaman. And we see how, yeah, she basically goes through his backstory, how he was tasked with getting a sample of Arthur's blood, only for, the, for him to accidentally give his father a heart attack, and in retaliation, he Aquaman accidentally killed his father, who he mistook for David. And this is what motivates David to get his revenge. So, in a way, I think David is meant to show what Arthur would eventually become had he basically went too far. And we see how, yeah, in retaliation, became Black Manta. And we see how she points out that if he kills Aquaman, what what is there left for him? And we see how, yeah, the crime syndicate show up. We kind of see there's a big prison break and everything. And after trying to get everything under control, we see how David ends up meeting King Shark. And in his new 52 appearance, was meant to be a hammerhead shark. And we kind of see him saying, The guys who broke the jail are throwing a party! And you will definitely write an invite. Sign me an autograph later. And we see how, yeah, David goes in with not attacking the guards. One of them tries to confront him, but slices his neck. And we see how, yeah, he meets up with Ocean Master and both of them get their gear. And if you have watched the Disney show Tangled, the TV series, I would say Cassandra is basically Ocean Master, while David is meant to be Lady Kane. So I think both of them fit that kind of quietilia. And we kind of see that, yeah, Ocean Master gets his gear, David does as well, and we see how Black Manta shows up, hijacks a helicopter... And after meeting with other villains, we kind of see how, yeah, they're kind of wondering what's going on. And we see that Aquaman's trident, Superman's cape, all their stuff has now been discarded. And this is where we're meeting the Earth-free version of the Crime Syndicate, who are meant to be an evil version of the Justice League from Earth-free, with an evil version of Superman known as Ultraman, Batman known as Owlman, Wonder Woman being basically Superwoman, and we see how they basically say that the world is now theirs, and that they're an evil counterpart from another universe. And we see how another Aquaman villain known as Scavenger is saying, You hear that, Manna? Aquaman's dead! And we see him looking, thinking, Yes, I know that, thank you. And we see how he basically leaves off, and this is David feeling like everything he's gotten has now been done. And again, this is relatable. Imagine knowing that you wanted something for so long, it's finally done. And we see how, yeah, we kind of see David going to his dad's tombstone and him saying, Dad, it's over. And yeah, this is David thinking like everything he's gotten now is done. But we see how, yeah, on Earth 3, due to Ultraman being weakened by sunlight, he's powered by darkness. So he moves the moon, and in doing so, ends up causing a large tsunami. And we see how David sees to his shock and horror what they just did. And after 
basically trying to survive for dear life. We kind of see David seem to a shock and horror that his father's grave has been defiled. And this pretty much rages him even more. And we see how Ultraman is shocked by what he did, but sees that there was no matter to it. And this fuels David a new reason to go against the crime syndicate. Because, yeah, you do not defile a loved one's grave. And this is David going back as Black Manta again. And, yeah, that was the story. So I think, yeah, issue 23.1 is definitely good. Again, the more the story is, once you've gotten revenge, sometimes... You someone else's actions will feel you a new reason it's like it's like a being a hunter once you've gained your prey a new one will take its place so i think this issue definitely deserves a thumbs up still good and still all right so comic viewer here signing out